Hello, I'm Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do the very first beauty haul for 2021. I received some stuff in the mail and I also ordered some items at Sephora. And so let's go ahead and get started. Some of these beauty items I also went to my local QVC drugstore to purchase. And the first item I purchased is this um, lash contour. It's a lash adhesive. Since I always struggle with putting on lashes and I did struggle quite a few to even put these on. Um, this is supposed to have biotin and blueberry. I know the benefits of biotin, but blueberry, I'm not sure. Uh, but I really like this because it has like a little shaker so that the glue, I guess, won't stiffen up in there. And as long as you close it tightly, it will be okay. And I also have found that this does really stick well without using too much glue. Um, so I'm still practicing putting on my lashes, just so you know. I also want to let you know that I also struggle putting on my eyebrows and I do want to try the microblading so I can't wait to do that. When I go get my microblading done, I'm not sure they're going to let me uh, videotape that and if they do, I will go ahead and make a video about doing that. But for sure, I am going to have my eyebrows uh, microbladed. The next product I got from Sephora and it's a Marc Jacob lip liner. This was $26, I know, I know. But I don't have a very light um, lip liner. And it says pencil, which was confusing to me because I only like mechanical and this is a mechanical lip liner. So I only like mechanical lip liners, not pencil, eyeliner, pencil, lip liner, whatever because then you're gonna have to use obviously a sharpener for that. But I love mechanical and even though the description says uh, pencil, it is a mechanical lip liner. So this is my Marc Jacob lip liner. I also went to my local PX store and I got a lot of stuff on clearance for Christmas items. And I got the Body Shop and this is a Shea Butter. And they came in a little pack of three for $12. And so I thought these were pretty cute, very small. I could carry one in my purse and carry one pretty much in every drawer on my desk, even here in this room, so that I can always have a lotion if I want to. So I purchased three of these for 12 bucks. So I thought that was pretty cool. And because it is a new year and I do mistreat my tweezers, I pretty much use my tweezers for everything. So it's time to get a new one. And I got this Revlon one and it's supposed to have uh, diamond particles, lifetime guarantee, uh, and that is supposed to be 60% better. So I just got it because it's pretty. I always uh, recycle my tweezers and I pretty much use one, a brand new one every year. So this is the new one for me for this year. I also got with me at the drugstore the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I have seen these on pretty much in every media platform and I just never got the chance to grab one, not sure why. And um, they are supposed to be amazing. And these are very cheap, by the way. This was about $8. And this is, it said that it's a new look. So I'm not sure if this is normally the way they look, but this is how it came. And then of course you get the bronzer and definitely smells like cocoa, like, like paradise. And then also it has a little brush inside. Oh, and I just noticed it has another mirror while you're using the little brush. Oh no, it's not a brush. It's a little foam. It's like one of those little round pads that you get almost in every little compact, but it looks like to me, like if it's a brush because it has like where you're supposed to handle it. That's pretty smart. So no mirror there, but when you start applying it, there is a mirror there. Awesome, I love this already. So cool. Ooh, new bronzer. 
And as part of when you order from Sephora, you know that you do get a free gift. This was one of my free gifts. This is Becca, and this is supposed to be a foundation. So I know that this is a sample, um, but I think that this is a pretty good sample for me to try at least once on my face. To be honest with you, it looks like a primer to me, but this is Becca Zero No Pigment Virtual Foundation pretty interesting so i'll try it i'll try it and i'll give you guys a review to see uh how this function i also went to dillard's and i purchased something at the lamcone i purchased a foundation and this foundation is supposed to be called i think the ultra wear broad spectrum spf 15. it's supposed to be full coverage and this is in color 270 it's bisque so they did match me um and this is what i got so this is what the bottle looks like very fancy fancy bottle i love the I love the lid to this. It's in a frosted glass bottle, obviously, so I can't wait to try this foundation. So I've been saying that I have oily skin and I think that as I'm getting older, I'm getting like combination skin. Some parts are dry, especially like here, but very oily like on your T-zone. So I did want to try this because a lot of the foundations that say matte, uh, for my skin, they end up being oily anyways. But because I feel that my skin is changing, I'm thinking maybe this will be good. Maybe this will be a keeper for me. So, Lancome Foundation. And this was $47. Lastly, I want to show you what I ordered in the mail. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this name. Basically, for hair treatment. And I need a lot of help. So, I do have long hair. Um, but on the tips, pretty much like from here to here, it's very dry and I really want to turn that around and um, I do have it in layers and just so you know, I cut my own hair and maybe I should do a video of how I cut my own hair. So I've been cutting my own hair for like three years now, but this is the product that I ordered and the brand is, um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I, I have no idea. When I want to ask for this, I say it's O-U-A-I. They gave me a free um, medium shampoo and medium conditioner little packets here. Um, and then in the box, they gave me some stickers, pretty cool. I'll save them for next year for Christmas. Awesome. And then, I got the leave-in conditioner. Now this one, I found out about this leave-in conditioner because when I get my free samples from Sephora, I ended up getting a free sample of the leave-in conditioner and I was hooked. The smell, the way it left my hair. If you have not smelled this, I, I don't know what it is, but it just brings me to relaxation to like like a spa um and i i mean i feel like i want to drink this i just love the smell so i got the leave-in conditioner and the conditioner is 4.7 ounces i also got the medium hair type shampoo and medium hair type conditioner so these are 10 ounces each. I got the medium, but I want to say that there's three level of shampoo and conditioners. There is also like a hair mask that I also need to get, but I got the one that best described my hair type. So I hope that this helps me improve the dryness of my hair. It gets um, after like a day, I don't wash my hair every day by the way, um, but on like on the second day, I noticed that it's already getting oily, but it's very dry, like about midway. So that's what I want to see if I can change. I have cut my hair already. I do try to cut like an inch off um, every time I cut my hair, but because I'm taking biotin, I'm taking collagen, my hair is going pretty fast. Um, I really want to change uh the ends because it they just feel so so dry but on top it just feels very silky very shiny 
um so that's what i want to change so anyways um i'll give you guys a review on this and i want to open it and see if it smells the same a little bit it doesn't smell quite as divine as the leave-in conditioner mm -hmm. can't really tell what it smells like but it doesn't smell like the conditioner let me see the conditioner the conditioner does so oh i'm gonna be in heaven when i am taking a shower so i am so excited with the things that i've gotten so far i cannot wait to try the shampoo and conditioner from o-u-a-i and uh if you know how to pronounce it please go ahead and let me know um but uh i just love it I think that as far as my favorites, all of these to me are necessities, but I think as far as my favorite are gonna be these because I can't wait to try this. And of course, my new foundation. Um, I've been wanting to try this foundation for a while. I don't think it's that old. I think there's a newer version from this foundation, uh, but I really wanted to try this. And oh yes, and then my butter bronzer. Mm, and it smells like coconut, like paradise. So, so yummy. So, um, I can't wait to try these products. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe during this pandemic and have a great day.